Right guys, it's been 12 days from we last looked at the eggs. Literally haven't done anything. Let's candle them and see if there's any fertile. We used the wee torch. I put it to the pointy side, turned it, and these ones is clearly not uh, fertile because they're clear. They're a lot more transparent, is the word. We had started off, we're raising at 70 eggs. We lost an egg in the loading process, our load. Now we've got 68, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 61 fertile eggs in the pen. See you in 10 days. Go, go ahead, Arlo, go. Yay. <laughs> Yay, that is a good shot. I used to throw bangers and stones at everybody. Three in a row. Yes! Oh! Yeah, baby! No, no, I catch it. No, 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 no I catch it. No, no, you're going to hold it. Don't hold on you. <laughs> Guys, it's been two weeks from my last upload of the video, but we're back. What do you see it? I've got a generator. Power on the homestead. Yeah. Let's build the workbench. This is the start of welding and everything. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, we have power, baby. Yeah, boy. This came out of the house. It sits on these brackets, wall mounted. Now it's going to be mounted on the shipping container. The bit of steel that you see me holding there, it's going to go in the back side for a bit of support, make it a bit more rigid because there'll be plenty of banging and racking done off this workbench because I plan on using it quite a bit. I knew I wasn't going to get a video last week and for that reason I made a YouTube short of me collecting this generator. I brought it to the yard and it didn't start. The battery was flat but there is a pull cord on it and more importantly when it was on the trailer I took it to Trevor and he showed me how to operate it. Nope. Right, decompression. compression thing up. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. I should add that I did take it home and put it on the charge, but the battery was that flat that it didn't even shape it charging it. I didn't have a big enough charger to make it charge it. So, right, that's not going to start today. What do we do next? I sent him a message, he told me to try, try the compression switch the other way. I mean, not on, which I pulled it across. We'll try it again anyway. Get her onto the compression stroke. Oh, no way, boy. Get her past the compression stroke and then try it. That's a temporary spot where that's going to go. If you've been following along, you don't. You know, if you haven't been, water shade, electric shade, store and shade for meat birds, etc., refrigeration. Purring like a kitten, boss. Purring like a kitten. Hang on. Check over. things running sweet. There was a big tank across here. It rotted out because of where it was sitting. This tank here was unused. It's brand new. Problem with that is it's only a two or three. Well, He actually says it was a 10 litre tank. It's a two to three hour tank. We'll just have to play with it. Hopefully we'll not airlock it. 
But if we do, we'll, we'll just play it again. Right, I didn't film this, but we have two pallets, two three by inch and a half planks on cut because I'll have a use for them at a later stage. Two sheets of tin, two blocks to hold it down. It wiggles, yeah. But I have to be able to take these two sheets of tin off to lift it up to refuel it. Probably every two hours, like I've been told. Two to three hours. Pull start, ignition, must just check that it's off. Yeah, I saw set. Well, kind of set. Now we need a extension lead and everything else to get for welding. Right guys, it's another day to make another dollar, or in my case, make another movie. This here stuff has all come out of the house. They're bowing, looking moved. We're going to start off by moving them, and then I'll explain to you why I have taken all this stuff out of the house. Sheep mowers do their thing. Hello. Hello. Boom. Just like that. Beat the shit. Right, guys, I ended up trimming around the perimeter. It'll buy me a bit of time with the battery. Let's get a coat of satin black on these. I do have a tin of primer in there, uh, red oxide, but what I don't have is thinners to clean the brush, so I'm just spraying this. These are going to be supports, which will go down here with the container with, or the shelf on the other side, give it a bit of strength, make it a bit more rigid to plan. I got these bins for the taking. A few videos back, I explained that the, they were made for my work and they were made completely wrong. And now I've got them. Now I have an idea. Where do you see? I have to make kill cones for these chickens. So the plan is, is to cut that down the middle. Down the middle here. And then them two flat bits will fold around. I'll rivet them in together. And hopefully we'll have a cone shape. Out right, of this bit. What's your bets? 50-50. Workbench first, and then this will be a later video. Not for looking forward to lifting that out of it. Looks like a poo bag. Ten mil bolt fits. We're on track. Seventy mil plus another seventy is one hundred and forty mil below three foot is the center of the first borehole. Can you tell what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm double checking because once these are bored, they're bored. Before going any further, I want to show you something. The reason that I bored it on the outer side is so that it's on the inner side here and not in the way whenever I go to do stuff. The Connell doesn't watch this, that's my friend. And this is why I had asked him to give me a hand. I wasn't expecting that now to be fair. How's it going? Here, are you still driving or are you on your way home? Oh are you? I've bored two holes for this workbench and I need more hands. If I'm outside the container I need some I tried to stick the bolt through but it's not it's not 
I was hoping to stick the bolt through and then go in and magically the the tor that torque gun I got was just going to screw it up. But once I have the holes drilled in the container, I'll put the 40 mil thing in, tack it in, drill it, and then I could nearly drill it now. I have these first two done, so. Well, I could actually do that too. I was, I, I could do that actually. And keep the nut on the outside. I was actually planning on putting the nut on the inside, but it's the same difference. Right, I don't need you then. Right, right, good idea. Cheers, boss. <laughs> right, bye. You couldn't make it up, you tried. Where do you see this? Look. Well, the first hole aboard, I have this here tie in thing on. Second hole, look at that for a bulge. You wish you had one I got, eh? Look. So, board another hole here. This is a holy container. Right, I'm just going to weld this and then come back to you because my, my, my attention is spread out too far. Look at the mess this made, look. Look at the mess this made. That was the hole. Where was it? No, this was the hole. I've had a patch it. What do you do? This was the hole where I put it in the wrong place because of the dinge. I'm not pointing any fingers at who's to blame. I will. Right, let's see if it fits. Back in the day I had to just throw this up onto my shoulder and just walk with it, but too many injuries, a bit more common sense. Maybe I will just lift. I will. Now, yeah. The reason why I was going six foot only leaves a foot of overhang at each side 
but there's a vice on this side. I want to keep it on this for obvious reasons. Get a bit of leverage on it. As you can see, there's no holes in underneath. And you can also see that it's up to my fifth rib. <laughs> now, if I stand up on this, it gets smaller. This isn't the finished grade, just know that. And for the moment of truth, close enough. Close enough to do me anyway, boss. Yeah, there's a bit of a fall, that's what I thought. I've maybe put a couple of washers. That ain't gonna bother. It'll be all right. I think the plumb rules may be off. That's what I'm sticking to anyway. Yeah, bye. She looks all right now. She looks all right. Now, don't be fooled by me off to a dodgy start. Look at that for a weld. And the other one is the one that I just weld. You see me weld first go, and I made a mess of it. So I had, that's why it's all patchy. And whenever the guy I was speaking to on the phone was Trevor, Trevor told me, weld it on. Duh, never even thought of it. Rusty, rusty. I get it too handy on my new job. Well, it's not even new. I'm doing 10 years almost. Right guys, what was in the trailer came out of this kind of an area. In underneath was full of paint tins and stuff. Half of which was probably bad and went to the bin. There were some some tiles in there from the from the kitchen that have managed to make the way up to the farm. I have a wee job for them and tell you later. But as far as the incubator goes, we're on day 17. We're sitting at 37.8 degrees uh, with 72 per 71 percent humidity. It's just been it's been a constant, really easy to look after. I've only opened it out once. Whenever I done the kind, kindling, candling, you take the egg, you hold it up, put a torch underneath it. We put 69 eggs in. One didn't make it because Arthur broke it. Took eight out that weren't fertile. We have 60, 61, I think. Should be, shouldn't it? We took nine out. 61 eggs in there now. And we're above the 80%, we're, what are we, just like 88% give or take a bit of success so far. We're probably going to lose another bit. I was talking to the guy that supplied me with the eggs. He reckons a solid 80% we should get. It, when the birds are young and fresh, 90% success rate, that'll dwindle down to about 75%. But we re he reckons we're in the 80% ball mark, so yeah boy we've got we've got waters whenever they get up to the chicken tractor stage in the field drinkers or fooders and when they're in the incubator stage the brooder stage which is going to be across to here and into there that'll be all lit there's power it's dry i put down a sheet of plastic put some wood chip on it Put the food into them wee trays. Give them plenty of water. There's like three watering tray cans there. And these here. I got two of these. These are like mother hens. Heat pads. Suitable for 30 chicks. That's why I've got two. Yeah. That's the crack anyway. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the field. Next week, we're going to have chicks. Yeah, bye. See ya.